Tanky G30, I hope everyone's having a great day. So welcome to Phantom Doctrine. It is out today. It is developed by Creative Forge Games. Thanks for joining me. I'd also like to thank them for retweeting the tweet that I mentioned about the game earlier this morning. So Phantom Doctrine is turn-based. It is stealth, cold war, tactics, and I can't wait to play, and I can't wait to create some of you who want to be created in this game as my personal spies. So Let's begin a new game, and it's probably going to be a tutorial, so let's go. Play the standard storyline of Phantom Doctrine, let's go regular, and medium, the difficulty intended as the benchmark Phantom Doctrine experience. Enable tutorial, yes. Subtitles, yes, because I'm going to need to read. Let's go next. CIA or KGB, codename Kodiak. Hmm, CIA wet work or hunt traders of the motherland. Let's, let's go KGB, I feel like I would normally go CIA but let's let's do KGB style all right so real name is this supposed to be who I'm gonna create I don't know I mean I could probably just create myself as a random agent so hell let's go with a female agent let's do it Daria Bogdanov actually let's how about that no that is a I need something I could remember yeah let's do that Anastasia Pavlov. This is wow. This is going straight into face preset. Whoa, cool. All right. A neck warmer. Ooh, a face mask. That's dope. Earrings that I can't really see because of the hair. Uh, cigarettes. Uh, let's just do that. And detail scars. Whoa. I don't know if I'm gonna give her scars. Tattoos and makeup. Uh, sure, let's go with orange and blue, and we'll start game. Doesn't look anything like her, like at all. The events you are about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records have been marked with the specific date they occurred on. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. Yankee Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror na Rushal Radio Malchanie. Sto? Pokazat yer shifrovku. A bystre. Niemedlena poslat v Moskvu. Niemedlena. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. You have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF gig. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte.
The locator chip indicates the sleeper is in position. Are you familiar with him? Who could forget that handsome face? Charge will only react if you do something suspicious. Move to the indicated position with the right mouse button. You're safe for now. Okay, let's, let's do it. Code name Kingfish. Looks like I have 15 you look up, you look armor. Action points and fire points. Most actions cost action points. AP, which is the triangles, the blue ones. Some actions, especially combat related, can also cost fire points, which is the orange diamond. Phantom Doctrine is a turn based game, so when all your agents' points are depleted, end your turn. Movement uses up action points and turn. Be extra careful when entering a restricted area, red zone. If the guard sees you, he'll call the alarm. Okay. Skip the rest of the turn and the guard will continue his patrol. Hence, move the cursor over a character to bring you their patrol path. Oh, cool. Interesting. So he's gonna go around the cargo containers over there. So let's end the turn and have him do his thing. Who is this agent Kodiak your file spoke about? Some KGB overachiever. I have no idea where they're digging up those zealots. Poverty digs them up for them. When in restricted area, move with caution. Use Q and E to rotate the camera for convenience. Ah, cool. Okay. Avoid cameras, okay, in the red spaces. They will trigger the alarm if you cross their cone of vision. Cameras can be disabled if you find a CCTV central unit. So that's what we're gonna do. Click. So I had to left click that. Enter. Deal with the security quietly. We don't want unnecessary trouble. Thank you. I can handle myself. Let's let the enemies do their thing. I'm currently running. Why are we here again? Enter main builder. I'm currently running. It, it's it's an old card now. A GTX 970 run of this game, and I think the recommended was a GTX 960. It runs pretty well. It's it's uh it's pretty smooth. Enter main building. I can't just I can't chill here. I have to click that. Enemy found our puppet. Give him the control phrase. Enemy agent located. This is or this one is our sleeper agent. Use the control phrase from the abilities menu. Okay. Takes control over an enemy agent subjected to control phrase. A sleeper agent is safe to go anywhere, go up the stairs, use mouse wheel to change floors, then select the target tile. This guy, he's not really the winter soldier, but he's affected by, by code phrases. Guards can be taken down silently, provided their HP is lower than that of the attacker. So this guy has 35 HP, we have 90. We go to our abilities. Silently incapacitates the enemy whose HP is lower than that of the attacking agent non-lethal against humans. So we're gonna do this with one fire point of which we have. I'm going. Ooh, right in the face. Awareness! Oh, okay, that, that is our awareness on the bottom with the eyeball and it's blue, 80 out of 80. All characters have a certain level of awareness. It is used by select actions. Take down. In combat, awareness allows agents to dodge when shot at, effectively reducing received damage. Awareness regenerates every turn and it can be raised by abilities and items. So please keep an eye on awareness. It, it sounds... It's probably one of the most important things, I think. Use spotter support to lift fog of war and reveal enemies and civilians inside the indicated room. Note that support agents operate from a specific direction and must have line of sight fire to the target to be effective. So what does the 17 mean? So tactical spotter east reveals fog of war within selected area, okay. It's harder for enemies in radius to dodge incoming bullets. Oh, confirm. My bad. Do 
Locate the documents. But we'll have to breach the room. Don't worry. I'll clean the mess up. Place your agents at the door to prepare for a breach attack. So, I actually tested this game out before recording this. And I noticed, like, my load times were pretty long the first time around. But doing this again, the load times are actually not that... Or, it's just not as, uh, as long. And that's good. I guess the game just has to, like, boot, uh, once or something and it'll just get used to it. Select the breach ability, select the mark room for attack and confirm. Breach confers a damage bonus, making it extra deadly. Breach. Nearby agents move. Okay, so you need more than one agent, obviously. Uh, yeah, requires at least two agents with firing capacity, right mouse button on enemies to lock targets. So, we're clicking here. Weirdly... Oh, I thought I... I thought I couldn't move. But we're gonna click and do it. Confirm. One action and three ammo for each. Wow. That was so awesome it uh it stuttered a little bit. <laughs> Note that using non-suppressed weapons always triggers the alarm and starts combat. End turn. Well, yeah, I kind of assumed that would. I wonder when we're actually going to get suppressed weapons. Grab the documents from the safe. Okay, let's have Kingfish grab them. Call the evac. We've got the customs papers. Good. Head to the evac zone. The driver will take you directly to Glasgow. Copy. Over and out. Confirm. Oh, okay. It's like the it's like the sh the ship coming in like in XCOM. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, evac will take two turns to arrive. Set up Overwatch to guard the room. Okay. So this is Overwatch. Or, oh, I set up here. I click. Oh, this is interesting. Need me. So I will move you here. Set up Overwatch outside. Note that long range Overwatch has a conical area of effect as opposed to the circular short range Overwatch. Like, use that. It's really far, though. Well, I mean, I guess technically it isn't really that far relative to where the building is, but it just seems far. And end the turn. Just waiting for the enemies to... to arrive. Wow, that was a, a lot of blood. Look at that. Jump out the window and take cover. Cover reduces incoming damage. I didn't even realize that was... For 1 FP and 1 AP, you can use the full auto attack, which will suppress the enemy, practically removing their awareness. So, full attack, auto, single burst. Okay, we're doing that. What the heck? I didn't even see him die because the dialogue box opened. Just gives the order. Phantom Doctrine has no random chance to hit. But, attacks can deal varying amounts of damage presented as follows. Maximum damage, minimum damage. Okay, I see that. Maximum, minimum. 84, 54. Targets automatically dodge incoming attacks, provided they aren't at point-blank range. Dodging costs awareness. A dodged attack deals minimum damage. Else, maximum damage. Damage is further reduced by target armor and cover. Okay, so more to that algorithm or equation. Note, in infiltration and at the beginning of combat, enemy awareness is always at zero, except for enemy agents who start with full awareness. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, move to ground... Wait, here? Oh, there's an agent... Or there's an enemy right there. Now I'm gonna move here. Now we're gonna jump out the window. Okay, I guess, wow, Kingfish, Kingfish is crazy. Some weapons are accurate enough to land devastating headshots, but cost awareness. Okay, so I moved, but I still have an action. So attack headshot, fire to select an enemy with devastating shot that ignores cover protection. Let's confirm.
Wow, that was an amazing shot through that. Holy shit. Shot through a chain link fence. What? Where did this gentleman come from? When evac, or sorry, when the evac compromise timer elapses, you will incur a danger penalty upon the conclusion of the mission. Note, however, that does not affect mission success or failure. So just get the hell out. Mission objective. Complete. Wow, you can reach that. You're awesome. That's it. Evacuate now. We're done. Evacuation. Evacuate all friendly agents present on the selected evac zone. You have reached the end of the tutorial. Congratulations! Two months later. Space Forces Director at Gukos Facility of Vladivostok, USSR. Милиционеры только что вбежали в здание. Не могу больше говорить. Не думаю, что эти менты здесь официально. Я тоже. Подготовьтесь к стрельбе. Постараемся не оставлять беспорядка. Слишком много бумаг. Too much paperwork. Look at the fog in this Cold War era. So that was the end of the tutorial. I'm going to end the episode here. We'll continue on in the next episode. So far, it's pretty solid. It runs well, and I can't wait to get into the in intricacies of the uh, like base management and leveling up characters. And we're gonna try to make everything personal by creating everyone I can that uh, that I know. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode of Phantom Doctrine. So if y'all made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and take it to 30 out. Right, Charles. Keep on, everybody, and keep smiling.